What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with My Hero Academia Season 7, Episode 21, I believe, the season finale, which for those of you who don't know, with the first and last episode of every season of every show on the channel, the full length version, which is normally only on Patreon, is available for everyone. So click that link on the top of the description. It has a free Patreon post, so you get the full uncut version there. If you want to keep that for the rest of the shows, the rest of the movies, everything on the channel, check out that Patreon. Other than that, I'm not going to waste any more time. It's been a fantastic season. I think my favorite season for me, season two, the tournament has always been my favorite. I'm loving this though. Hopefully you guys are as well. I'm not going to waste any more time. This episode's called Battle Without a Quirk. Shout out Iron Might. All right, here we go. I assume this is exactly where we left off. Still had the Dabby Todoroki stuff going on. Still had the Toga Uraraka stuff going on. I like Hawks is saying that he, at the end of the day, does feel bad. Twice was a misguided person with a, a good heart, genuinely. Just a shitty situation, you know. Oh my God, tell me why Loki. I forgot she got stabbed in her gut. Like this is my hero, so I don't think Uhura is gonna die. But in you know, other animes, I would be really nervous. Drink a little bit of her blood, transform into Uraraka. I do appreciate that. Oh, it is hurting her. I like, I love that. I really do enjoy that. She's giving her blood to Uaraka, and she can transform into Uaraka to make sure the blood type is the exact same. Is what I'm assuming. I love how it's half her, half Toga, but. As someone who had a blood condition and needed to have three blood transfusions in two days. Oh, wow. That's what I was assuming. That is very smart. But if Uaraka lost a lethal amount of blood and you transfer that to her. <laughs> even broke off one of the needles to make some stitches. Shout out Toga, man. That is quite literally the definition of most of our main super dope heroes. Just weirdos to their core, you know. Mm. When my heart lifted, it felt lighter with the zero gravity, with her heart still feeling the weight of the things, even though they're burnt down. This is so deep right now. As Deku talks about ignoring what's deep inside him. Damn, this shit is getting full circle right now. Aww. With the All Might figure, too. Aww, I like how they're both like laying down on their side looking at each other. It's so close and intimate. Aww. Aww, with the bird, too, you know. Oh, instead of taking blood. Oh, kind of like earlier. One person is all it takes to change your entire world. I love that. I do love that, man. That touches, bro. Her, it looks like it was drained. I do love that. Them together, her talking like the girl with the cutest smile in the world, living the way you wanted to live. As the bird flies away with the sun peering through the storm, you know. That shit got deep. Is that the end of Oga? <laughs> Theoretically, she could have given all her blood to... <laughs> if this is the fight Night Eye hinted at too. <laughs> so many years ago. Man's got the nanotech. He really is Iron Might. Does he have a cape too? What in the Batman? <laughs> I love we can still see a smile so big. <laughs> Armored All Might. Okay. That's what he wants. Bunkai, shout out the Bleach reference, Bunkai. I'm praying not. 
I love that sentimentality. That's quite literally the sentiment of the whole show. Literally. Just a few minutes, a few seconds. Stall as long as he can. I love Levi's voice actor. So perfect. Red Riot with the Kirishima hardening. What the fuck? Man's got the coolest fucking lightsaber I've ever seen. Oh, I like how we have the impromptu fake versions of the one for all. We have a lot of shout out Kaminari. I love it. Shout out the observations. Okay. <laughs> he said that way of fighting only works if you have one for all this way of fighting only works if you're going against someone with a quirk he had a plan specifically for is this david's daughter i forget her name shout out the movies i haven't seen all of them but the ones i have seen i love that Even to till now, I love that. We're really using all of Class One A's quirks with a Deku kick to his face. Okay. I love that. New forms versus their old forms. That's true. That's very true. It is. I love talking to himself in the third person. Gotta have Kentoko Yami in there as well. Oh my god. Is this how they first met? Oh wow. All for one is a, still a great shit talker till the very end. I won't lie. Oh, I love the backup. What sort of oh, ass super acid? What sort of Mina Ashido? We're using literally every one a quirk. Oh wow! I love her quirk just floating. Wow. He was one of those persistent Deku kind of kids. I love that. I love that. I love that, man. Damn, as you see, just the city just destroyed in the background. That's true. That's true. A symbol truly, especially at this time, is all might change the world. Be the, the grander scheme of things. He's going to be the symbol. I, I still love the Star Wars references. Tatooine, that's from the first goddamn episode. Or... This, I love this season. I think it's my favorite season. But the callbacks to season one, two, three, those are easily the best of the season by far. Left wrist broken, ribs fractured, collarbone broken. Technology is on its brink. This is the exact same roof. Wow. Oh, wow. Let's turn that boy into a baby. Look at All Might right now. I love and hate this. I love this because he is the definition of a hero. But I hate this because I love him. The way he's just laughing demonically. 
Gone Bare, Gone Bare, Gravity, Ingenium, Ida, Uraraka. I love that he's using class 1A's quirks. Every single person they've shown a highlight of this season has been going beyond plus ultra. Without a doubt. Is it going to end with Deku? Kaminari? Hey, duh. We're making a goddamn tornado. I do love how they're both the older generation, the next generation are both fighting their respective uh <sighs> That's the end of a season. Alright, it does look like we have an after credit scene of some sort. Oh that with the card and Bakugo. Oh no. Final season? That episode. Incredible. Season is my favorite i still think season two is, is close but that's just because i love the character development so much and it sets so much stuff up for this season i think this season takes it just because of the callbacks to season one season two season three stuff like that but good golly with all might using all of class a's quirks you know so many references to deku earlier on so many references to him meeting um nana shimura and i loved seeing that so many great moments I am so equally excited and nervous for the final season. I assume just based off lengthwise, it's probably going to be a one core, which would make sense. Just they can put all their all into a 13 or a 12 episode half season or you know what I'm trying to say and just make it just an incredible ending. Yeah, overall, fantastic season, man. You all knew it. I know it. We got one more year in My Hero. I've been watching My Hero week by week live since it actually began season one. So it ending along with JJK ending along with other stuff ending is just going to be a generation of anime ending and it's going to feel weird. Hey, you know, it's going to feel weird, but it's been a journey with you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. I got that Patreon full uncuts, all that jazz. I appreciate you all. Seriously. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.